Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, so unless I promise I'm going to do the um, expansion for Midnight or Royal Mid Academy, which is my translation. Um, original from uh, Love Sketch Incorporated, Japan. And uh, my Chinese version is published by um, Just Play Games. Okay, so um, actually I've already opened up and sleeved the box, but I will show you through what actually do you get in the expansion. So uh, as you can see on the cover of the expansion, you will have um, the mention of uh, London. Of course, this is London. So this is uh, uh, the recovery of London, battle to recover London. Uh, and we are explicitly new characters. So originally I thought this will, uh, will be getting new on midnight, but uh, apparently not. So let's see what we will be getting. So the the box, um, as I as you can see, I have more sleeve of it. The these are the official sleeve, which is metal on one side, um, and I really have extra uh, more sleeve than I needed for the games. There are some plain um, round tokens, which you will see in most uh, board games, easily replaceable. Uh, two colors for each of the players. Um, this doesn't come with it. This is my uh, dry sticks to keep the board game from moisture. Uh, and then you will have uh, some tokens, there will be like level 2 tokens Okay, uh, and then um, I think there will be more tokens for the victory scores also You know, see, look at, you look at the special logo of the wheat grass I don't know what exactly call it, but you find them on all the medals So this will be like additional 5 points and uh, level 2s And I think I also have the, these are the currencies The 5 coins, 1 I think those are not one coins. Those are the level one currencies. Okay, so we have the level one currencies. Uh, I mean, not currencies. The level one points uh, for for the expansion, and um, we have some bunch of cards which I'll run through the cards. Uh, I got some additional uh, long bags, and uh, there will be some additional cards too. I will go through the cards because these those are important, and uh, there's also some additional tokens. Uh, some. These are the ones that indicates uh, like if you miss classes and, and then if you miss, cl miss classes, you won't get the 7 points uh, 7 victory points for being a good student And uh, we also have the rule book Okay, so this is the this rule book explains the uh, Basically explains what's going on in the expansion Let me just like kill the angle a bit And then you you can see there's a very very piece thin uh, It's a thick piece of paper but it's still paper It's not really like you know it's a really rule book, rule book thing um, it explains what are new components. So we have new cards. We have a we have a new um, movement table, which actually is not really yeah. It's part is part of the card. I have a hard time finding this because this is actually uh, inside the card. It's actually a, a piece of card with a uh, front and back. And uh, we have these tokens uh, for being going to school for you know like if you manage to like go miss not miss any class, you get seven points. Otherwise, you get zero points for it. And uh, there's also the special character, to character tokens. Uh, you know your senpai, which will help you. Uh, which explains, uh, you know, these characters. They are actually your uh, seniors. They can actually help you. And um, they are actually graduates, but then they are here to be able to, like, you know, to maintain the law and order, and they give you a hand. So um, you can think of them as like mercenaries. There's also. Um, Boards for uh, maintaining orders. So this is the. I think there's only one board if I'm not wrong. Yeah, there's only one board. Okay, so uh, for the law and order boards, I guess the in you know, a way you can call it, you know, with uh, the symbolic A B C D E F and as well as uh, you know the various conditions and stuff. I won't go. Oh, I also missed out one more small pack of it. There's still more tokens here. Uh, it looks like there's more uh, five victory points tokens here which I missed. Or oh, they did just fell back in. I don't know. It could be like the same bag that fell back in. But anyway, there's quite some tokens there. Uh, there's two copies of the rules, just like before. Like I mentioned, it's the one simplified Chinese and one tra traditional Chinese. But of course, uh, the funny part is that they actually never translated the logo. The logo is still in traditional Chinese <laughs> because this. Uh, I think this game was like uh, republished in. Uh, or could it could be because the. Kind of in the Japanese, uh, a lot of the words were kanjis were borrowed from traditional Chinese anyway. So there are more. This is a card list, I guess, uh, similar to what we have in the, and then uh, some of the rules explanations. Um, 
So I won't go through all the whole rules you know, until I get, maybe if I do a playthrough someday, I will explain it. And uh, there's also the recovery tokens. This is the one and two one I thought I was talking about, those uh, recovery tokens. Uh, and the list is very nice. They list out all the cards, the various uh, things you're supposed to have in this in this box, which actually I counter everything, you know, make sure that I'm not missing any stuff. Uh, and then, you know, like uh, the explanation of how the, the board works and things like that. So basically, that's uh, that's all you get in this uh, expansion. So it's not really like a very very major, a lot of uh, component stuff. And if you are thinking about paying thirty five US dollars for the expansion, that's that's where the overpriced part comes in. I am uh, quite quite surprised, although it's not really cheap uh, for me either. But it's much cheaper than thirty five US dollars. Let's go through some of the cards. Though. So I have sleeve all the cards uh, with the with the given sleeve. So you can see it's uh, smooth on one side matter on the other side so the matter uh, goes mostly on the logo side so we have uh, seven alternates uh, power up knights okay which you can see here okay so they are still exceptionally beautiful so actually one of the things i must mention for this game is that uh, i was i was actually more buy-in by the art than anything else you know um you know beautiful arts is one of the things that actually attracts me to this game uh, more than anything so i while I'm not too familiar with the with the gameplay yet, I'm already like uh, sixty percent on on the fence towards buying this. Uh, once I saw the art, okay. So this was the this was the the board you saw just now. It's kind of like a uh, you know, kind of like a help help card. I guess it's a like player eight card. So we have our uh, six pieces of them. Okay, so we have six pieces of that, and uh. We have some cards that additionally there's these are uh, like the um, I, I can't remember what they are used for but they are only used in the expansion so I guess this is something to do with the you know one and two tokens uh, which you can see just now here right those are the ones and two tokens which you get to flip uh, and then you know they goes onto these cards so they could be missions I don't know they could be mission cards um, to be honest I have not gone through the game yet so you know uh, this is my best guess so this is uh, one of the packs, so I splitted them into two packs. So all these are like new cards, you know, for only used for this uh, this expansion. Wow, this pack, I have to talk a little bit about it because they apparently have uh, patched the cards. So in a way to, to say, it, say it nicely. So um, some of these cards are actually uh, entirely new cards, but some of the cards were actually meant for uh, to replace the uh, older cards in the main campaign because They've uh, retweaked it. So this looks like the night cards, right? So I think they are uh, in the in the instruction sheets you will see that they mention replacement cards. So these are meant to replace the uh the original cards that came with it, uh, you know, for a more streamlined or balanced game. And uh they have a uh, new objective cards also for the I think this is only uh, applicable for the expansion. So we have some of this uh like mission cards, I guess. <laughs> and uh, that's all there is in this uh, in this game actually so I think there's uh, not too much as you can see I don't think the cards even amounts up to like um, definitely not 100 cards I'm not sure even there are 50 cards here but that's what you are paying for for like you know if you have backed the Kickstarter for the expansion I think you can't buy the expansion separately I'm not sure but uh, if the expansion is bought separately then uh, you know and you are expecting a lot uh that's about all you get but otherwise uh, you know the artwork is fantastic um, and you can see that you know it's like um, they actually explains quite well what what this expansion is about so I can even read here so they are like uh, I don't know roughly we add up the cards is about 30 40 cards at most uh, another so it's for three to six players but of course you can use the uh, English rules uh, or you know just play with a uh, fictional automa and then you get to like be able to play with a single or with two players so this is this is uh basically the gist so i have actually was also expecting a lot in from the box that i thought i wanted to do a like a second separate video to talk about the expansion but it turns out that it, there isn't really too much about it so uh this is a short and sweet my probably my first uh, video that's less than 10 minutes uh this is midnight um the battle recover london 
the expansion for uh, Midnight's. And I hope you enjoyed my video. If you uh, you know like to see more content, please uh, hit the like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you again soon.